exhibit. It's great fun. It was, it was a fantastic day out. Really enjoyed ourselves in that. I mean, it was full of, you know, sort of Mustangs and Camaros and stuff. There was stuff like this. We've got a picture of this sort of thing. 60s and 70s stuff. Now, we know that cars like this are horrible to drive. Terrible. But they're tremendous to look at. There was so much joy in car design back then. And you just see it in that car there. It actually made us slightly sad in a way, though, didn't it? Because as we were leaving, we suddenly started wondering, well, what are they going to put in that museum in 40 years' time? Yeah. A Nissan bloody Duke. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I don't want to look at that now. No, exactly. Or the Dodge Dart. What, <laughs> what child's going to say, oh, daddy, daddy, let's go and look at the 40-year-old Dart in the museum? Nobody <laughs> is. I know, it's true that car design has become so dreary lately, and I think part of it, it's almost as if the people who design cars don't actually like cars. Yeah, that exactly much. right. But they did then, and you can tell. I mean, there was a Cuda in there next to a Plymouth Fury, and I just stood for about an hour yeah. just soaking them in. I saw a 1966 Cadillac. We've got a picture of it here, look. Now, what I like about this is that the bloke who designed the bonnet, he got to the grill. He thought, I'll finish with the bonnet, I'll do the grill. But he didn't tell the blokes doing the wings, and they kept going. Look, so he sort of goes like another foot. No, but he's a, you end up with a fantastic looking car. It's like the Buick Riviera. They had one of those in there. They, oh, I mean, look that at that. Yeah. Glorious. They had one of those as a toy when I was little, and if you put your finger over the back window, it flashed its lights. And you just look and you go, how can Buick have gone from doing that in, what, 30, 40 years to doing this, whatever, this brown... Look at... <laughs> how have they done that? And it's the same as Chevrolet. There was an Impala in there, 1960. Look at of... that! Yeah. That is look exciting, that. not moving. Look that's it. a Chevy Impala from the 60s. Let's have a look at one from today. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> how do they even have the nerve to call that an Impala? Because it isn't one. I was looking at um, a Corvette, a 70s Corvette. That's the C3 oh. model, if you're a Corvette nerd. This was a car but... that was driven by all of the astronauts. Exactly. And Dirk Diggler. Yep. <laughs> Wow. So it's a car for porn stars and astronauts. <laughs> what a strapline that is. What car is there today that can be driven by porn stars and astronauts? There isn't one. An Alpha? <laughs> Actually, he's right. No, astronauts have to get there. He's right. That's exactly what the quadruple plegio is. No. It's for porn stars and astronauts, which is what I am. <laughs>